especially for systems from Atari. The video game that lets you help E.T. get home. Just in time for Christmas. Happy Holidays. Hello, welcome again to the Retro Shed, mm -hmm. and we are going to talk to you today about... I've got a problem. Why are you wearing my lumberjack tell chainsaw you, tell helmet? Tell you in a second. I've lost count of the videos. Is this our ninth video? Or our I think this this could be our ninth video, ninth actually. Ninth video? Yeah. I haven't got time to do anything else at the moment, actually. <laughs> Um, yes, so uh, we've been thinking about not just the good... Vi Why have you got that on your head? Basically, you said to me we were doing an experiment, so I thought it might involve... I can't hear you. Can you lift the thing up? Oh, okay, just take it off. What? What? <sighs> what? You said we were doing an experiment. I thought it could be dangerous, so I found this in the shed. Not that kind of experiment. It's an experiment with a game. You didn't say that. And it just so happens oh, to be... I thought it didn't involve acids and stuff, so I thought I'd need protection, but apparently not. No, you're not going to be needing any protection. You sure? So, so let me tell you Fine. what we've been thinking about and the why he's got my, my chainsaw helmet. I don't know, he head. just told me we were doing an experiment. I told so. him we were going to do an experiment, and that experiment mm -hmm. basically is, we're going to look at the worst, well, one of the worst video mm -hmm. games of all time. Which um, is this. Oh no, that's, that's Yars Revenge. That's really good. This one. <laughs> it's made by the same bloke, actually, Yars Revenge, isn't it? This is the legendary E.T. on the Atari 2600 mm -hmm. console. Now, we didn't actually get that copy from a landfill. No, we got it from a shop. We got it from uh, Vintage Gamer the in Retro Hales shop. Owen, and we'll put a link later on to uh, to that shop, because you, if you're into it's your... pretty good. Yeah, if you're into your vintage gaming and you live in the Midlands, United Kingdom... That's near England, London. ...near London, uh, you need to check these guys out. We'd like to speak to you today about um, a town in New Mexico called Alamogordo. More importantly, it's landfill, actually. But what mm -hmm. do you know about Alamogordo in New Mexico, wow. Josh? Wow, wow, wow. Hmm. Wow, actually, There are some interesting facts yeah, about the town. The first ever chimpanzee into space, I think he was called Ham. He was called and Ham, And the American right. sent him up. He was buried there, actually. Yes, that's right. Ham the chimpanzee was the first... I think the first American chimpanzee. living thing in space, a chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. I think it's a bit cruel, actually. Well, the Russians sent a dog first. Yeah, and he died, didn't he? Laker. Did he, he die died in space? Up there. Yeah, he died in space, but they said he survived. I think they, they said he survived longer than he actually did, but they killed Laker. And I'm pretty sure they killed Ham as well. I don't know. We need to look that one up. Anyway, Ham is buried in Alamogordo. What else do you know about Alamogordo? It's actually near the site where the um, the military tested one of the first ever atomic bombs. That is absolutely I do know that. correct. Yeah, one of the first nuclear bomb tests was, was took place just off atomic the road from our Alamogordo. Yes, an atomic bomb. Anything else? Some geezer set a land speed record there. Some geezer set <laughs> a land speed record on a rocket sled or something else. That's all I know. But what we're interested in what, is an urban legend. In, because I don't know. Oh, it's an urban legend, actually. Is it? And Tell me. It is the burial place of E.T. Well, no, not quite. It's the burial say. place of four, allegedly, four million cartridges. Million? They made four million of these things. I thought there was only a couple of hundred in no, there. No, I think, I think they made four million cartridges. There's a lot there. But did they bury four million in total? Why did they bury it? Because it's rubbish. That's pretty much spot on, yeah. So, it, it's an amazing story. You need to check mm -hmm. out um, a documentary on YouTube Yeah, we saw called, this video on YouTube. It's called Atari... Game Over. Colon, Game Over. Capital A. Yeah, and it, it gives you all the facts about this uh, this amazing thing. So, I was thinking about this. Mm -hmm. We always look at the, the best... The best, the, like... The best games the and... The best games of that time. The classic and, games. Yeah. Okay, The Spy Who Loved Me wasn't particularly no. the best or a classic, but... Informative games. Yeah, so we thought we'd like take that. a look at um, one the of the worst, worst video games, games of all made. time, reputedly, and it's called E.T. Now, I've never played E.T. Nor have I, don't I know actually. If it's you have good. played it, haven't you? I haven't played Not it. Not really had a good look at it. I've never played it, um, but we have got 
the ET cartridge. So, what did you mean by the experiment then? Because you're saying that chainsaw helmet isn't needed. Well, so. the experiment I wanted to do was, because you don't know how bad the game is, Mm-mm-mm. or why the game is as bad as it is. I don't as know what it makes is. it bad. No, I thought it would be a good experiment to let you play on it, right? And then tell us... What's so bad about it? Why does it happen to be the worst video yeah, game? Yeah, but I'm of very all critical time? when it comes to games. I'm so critical, in fact, that the only like word I describe games is by tense. Yeah, you you do lo- use the word tense quite a lot, a lot yeah. but well, we do test quite tense games. Though. Yeah, I mean, the, the, there's a whole story behind E.T. this this game actually. Um, E.T. was. The biggest box office busting film, film of busting. all time when it came out in 1982. Mm-hmm. It's an amazing film. I still love it. You don't like it, do you? I hate it. Why don't you like it? It freaks me out. Does he scare just, you? It looks, it looks, I don't know, but it looks weird. It freaks me out. I am 12, yeah, but he freaks me out. You don't like the cuddly little alien? How is it cuddly? He's cuddly. It looks like it's made out of leather. I don't like it. It's creeps me out. So E.T. creeps you out. Yes, okay. it does. But it's still a brilliant film, no, you see. No, it's not. Now, <laughs> back... Just because Steven Spielberg made it doesn't mean it's brilliant. No, you've got a point there. Not all his films are brilliant, but mm. E.T. is, so we, we agree to no, disagree even... on that one. Oh, agree to Let's disagree. take this argument out of the shed. Yeah. Not now, Not though. now. Let's no, finish no. this first. Yes. Um, where was I? E.T. Yes. In the early 80s, um, there was a big thing about movie license tie-ins. Do you know what a movie license tie-in is? Isn't that where somebody like buys the licensing to a film to make it into a game? That's spot on. Very good. Yeah. So I'm smart. It, licensing is where a company pays extortionate amounts of money. What's extortionate mean? Millions. And I think Atari, Atari, Atari. pay Atari, <laughs> Atari pay between twenty and thirty, 30. million. No way. Million dollars to make a game like this to Mr. Uncle Spielberg to say, can you? Sell us the rights so that we can make a game and make lots and lots of money. And of course, Universal Studios and Uncle Spielberg just went, ah, yeah, we'll have a bit of that. So Atari paid their they 20 or 30 speak million. Like that. I bet they don't speak like that. No, they probably don't. <laughs> and this all took place not long before Christmas 82. So mm-hmm. we're talking December 1982 here. So they secured the rights to the game and got hold of one of their top programmers at Atari. Howard something in it. Howard Scott Warshaw. I thought I knew it was Howard Howard Scott Warshaw, who actually went on and coded. Is it getting darker in here, or is it me? So, yes, Atari got hold of uh, one of their top game developers, a a chap called Howard Scott Warshaw, Mm -hmm. that had actually developed lots and lots of really good best-selling games, including Yars Yars Revenge, Revenge. actually, which I love. I love Yars Revenge. I've never played it. And the boss of Atari at the time was a chap called Ray... Nolan Bushnell? No, he'd left by this point. Uh, A chap called Ray Kassar. And so the story goes, Ray rang Howard and said... Can you write? We've got the rights to ET. Can you write it in less than five weeks? Oh, he said two. Five weeks, I think. He said two. I think he did it in two, but it was five weeks, right? Oh yeah, two weeks to write it, three weeks to get it on the shelves, like wasn't that. it? Yeah. And Howard said yes, he could do it, and he did it, and this and is the rubbish. result, and it's rubbish. awful. I can't really it's absolutely say that, awful. It wasn't. It. it wasn't Howard's fault, really. It wasn't Howard's fault because I think he was under a lot of pressure to get it out. Because if they could get this game into stores, Christmas nineteen eighty two, it was going to fly off the shelves and make Atari an Which awful it did. lot of money. Which but it, it did. did. But it was probably the game that went on and caused well it probably put the, the nail in the coffin crash. lid of the video games crash and that was that was one of the big problems in 1982 1983 the atari had sold so well they started to churn out rubbish games rubbish and also by a bit the like way, today really <laughs> unfinished our studio lights just ran out of battery so that's why our <laughs> Light, lighting's yeah, the lighting's <laughs> changing here severely it's, our it's because our studio out. lights just gone flat <laughs> that's like it's getting steadily darker. Sack the, I'll get me coat. Sack the lighting director. It's gone. It's gone off, hasn't it? Anyway, <laughs> hopefully we've got enough light though. You can still see yeah. us. <laughs> Do you want to see us? I don't know. Um, yes, I was talking about et 
and how it was the filed video for game industry and the fact that so many Atari 2600s were sold. It wasn't just Atari's fault. You had ColecoVision, Intellivision, Magnavox. They were all churning out junk because they thought that people are just going to buy this stuff and lap it up. Yeah. Not a lot has changed actually in, in the year 2017. You know, you've still mm. got gaming is a huge industry and companies EA. are still churning out unfinished junk. Like EA. But, unf- but unfortunately, today we've got the internet and that, well, fortunately, unfortunately, and that allows these people to churn out junk and then just continuously update it for the yeah, next three no, or four put years. Yeah, they've a massive update on the game that's not, that a game that's unfinished and yeah. the update's as big as the game itself. Yeah, you spend more time waiting for your console yeah. to update than you do actually playing games. But back then, what you bought, that was it. There was no updates. And if you mm-hmm. bought an absolute rubbish game, I nearly swore, a rubbish game, you were stuck with a rubbish game. And people just weren't going to take this. Well, they you did take, take it. it. They did take it. They took it back, didn't they? <laughs> they? Everyone took it back in their droves. And Atari realized that they had millions of these things that they couldn't sell. So the best thing, what, what do you do with a bunch of games that you can't sell? You just put them in a hole. I'm there, I'm Poor there, old E.T., Got dumped in a hole. I wouldn't say poor. It's a rubbish game. It is a rubbish game. Well, it... I've never played it for Holly's episode. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's find out how rubbish it really is. Yes, we shall. Let's have a look at it. So, Josh is. This is the experiment. Josh is going to play ET on the twenty six hundred. Should I get a chainsaw? With habit? I'm not going to say a word. Should I get And I'm habit? just going to see if you figure out how bad it is. Have you looked up how to play this? Because I don't even know how to play this. I don't know how to play either. Okay, I'm sure it can't be that difficult. No, surely not. Here's allegedly the worst game of all time on the year 2600. Have a look at this. Right, we've got um, E.T. on the Atari 2600. Josh is about to undergo an experiment. Yes, I am. Here we go. So what have you got to do then? You've read in the instructions, haven't you? Well, it's... What's that arrow at the top, man? I think that's the direction he's got to go in. Okay, so it looks alright. I don't know what the problem is with it. What are the... Apparently, you have to collect. You have to pick oh, up these boost. dots. Apparently, you're not supposed to fall into these holes. What holes? Um, those like pitfall things. Who's that? I don't know. I think they're trying to crack. I'm in a hole. You've fallen in a hole. You can. Hey. Oh, there's the hole. I get it. Are those things holes then? Yeah, they're like pitfalls. I think. Do you know there's a game on the Atari called Pitfall? Yeah. By David Crane. Oh, what's in here? Is that's that the Colosseum appara- or something? Apparently that's Elliot's house. Oh, okay. What's he doing with the neck? What's the whole thing with the neck? I don't know. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh. How's he just... Why hey? I'm confuzzled. What on earth have you got to do? I'm in a hole. Oh, you're in a hole. And you can fluckily... He can fly... L- out of the hole. What's fluckily mean? Luckily. Oh, fluckily. Are those holes then, those things? Apparently they're pitfalls. I'll tell you something. Does he live on a landfill or something, E.T.? Because mm. there's a lot of holes, isn't there? He ended up in a landfill though, didn't he? Are those trees? Yeah, that's forest. What does that sign at the... Run, run, forest, run. Oh. Ah! How come the dude doesn't fall down the holes? That's what I thought. I'm so Run away. <laughs> Run, forest! Oh, I'm in a hole. You're in a hole. I'm in a hole. I still don't know what you got to do. Tell me what you got to do. I don't even know myself. You have to collect these things to make his telephone, apparently. You've got to make E.T.'s telephone? Yeah, that thing that he calls... Hey? That's Elliot's house. Why is that guy in a map in a with a hat on and he's got like a black band across That's his face? That's a scientist, apparently. They were here scientists to don't you. look like that. They're, they're here to catch you. They're probably FBI agents. Let's just go down. I'm going to go down. Maybe I'll sit in his house. Maybe you go in here. I have no idea what is going on. Oh! I'm in a hole. You're in a hole. Yeah, I'm in a hole. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. It looks like he's trying to play golf. I'm in a hole. He's in a hole. I'm in a hole. Fly out of the hole, E.T. I don't know what those signs at the top mean. Why doesn't somebody just give him a phone and help him I'm in, a hole. in a hole? You're in a hole, Josh. I'm in, I'm in a hole, yeah. So the graphics are really... Um, rubbish. Rubbish. Now you're in a forest. Oh, actually... Where did he come from? 
I'm not sure. You're in a hole. I'm in a hole. So you, I'm in a you're hole. in a hole. So you're collecting all this stuff, but I don't understand what you're doing with I it. I don't. Yeah. You're now standing over a hole. Is that a hole? Oh, you're in a hole. I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. I can't believe I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. Can you believe that? You can fly out of the hole though. Look. I'll tell you something. It's a I'm nasty a place to live, isn't it? There's holes everywhere. Quite ironic, really. Right, if you move, are you going to fall into the hole? No, you've done you it. Did. Well done. <laughs> oh, you're in a hole. I'm in a hole. Do you know what? Yeah. I actually hate this game. Do you? Yeah. This is E.T. How run, can you hate E.T.? He's a little alien that needs your help. <laughs> run, Boris, run! <laughs> come catch me, dude. Come catch me. Come catch me. Come on, dude. Come catch me. <laughs> hey, you can't well get done. me. Well done. Too fast for him. Too what's fast that, for What's him. that logo at the top of the Don't screen? Don't actually know. Do you think anyone's ever completed this? I don't think so. <laughs> Do you reckon there's bonuses and weapons up and stuff like that? Is that? No. Is it downloadable maps? I'm being silly now, aren't I? What are you doing? You can't even catch me. I'm too quick for you. I'm oh, a, you're in a hole. I'm in a hole. <laughs> What'd you have to... He's in a hole. I'm in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in another hole. <laughs> Look at the movement of those legs. Ah, I'm in a hole. Why has Elliot happened? got a Space Invaders base on his head? I don't even know. Oh, I'm in oh a you're hole. in a hole. If you say I'm in a hole one more time, I'm actually going to murder you. I nearly went in a hole then. What on earth have you got to do? Oh, I'm in a hole. I wasn't going to say that. But I'm in a hole. Yeah. I'm in a hole. What's, What's that? Oh, well, you're dead. He's got a white colour. But you're alright. It's okay. You're going to be alright. Everything's going to be alright. Because I'm eating. So you've got to pick up these Whee! dots. And nobody Whee! has a clue what you've got to do. Oh, I'm in a hole. You're in a hole. Sorry, I said I wasn't going to say that again. Yeah, but you did, so. Ah! Leave me alone, you. Oh, I'm in a hole. You're in a hole. You just said it again. Is there any... Can you even complete this game? Is there any point... Is it even, is it even possible to complete this game? Is there any point to this game? At all? What? Let's see what happens if he catches you. Let's see what happens. Doesn't he drag you off to that thing that looks like some kind of? Where's he gone? Let him grab and punch. He punches you, doesn't he, when he grabs you? I don't know, probably. Which I think is a bit cruel, really. The poor alien just wants to go home. Whoa. And the scientist just punches. Yeah, what? Oh, he fell in the hole. <laughs> He's in the hole. <laughs> well, do you know what I think? This might be the candidate for one of the worst films. Oh, sorry, films. Yeah, it's the worst Games. film in the world. He can't even catch me. He's a noob. This is awful. I'm in a hole. I think this game needs to go back in a hole where it belongs. To be yeah. honest with you. Yep. Okay. Wow. That was E.T. the extraterrestrial the ex playing on the, extra the legendary. Visual. Atari 2600. Okay, so. What do you think? No, what do you think? No, what do you think? No, you, you, no you go first. What do you think? I think... It's dismal. I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying to be objective here. The guy had f two to five weeks to make it. And it shows... It is one of the worst games I've ever played. So I've played a lot of games. I've played some really good games. I've played some mediocre games. And I've played some really horrible rubbish. That's, that that's, that's, was 
in the latter category. I'm going to have to put that in the really horrible rubbish bin. I'm glad we got a copy. Just for the... We could sell that for £2.50 on you, boy. <laughs> Makes it's worth more than that, actually. Strange thing about it, it's worth more now than it was when they made it. Mm-hmm. The problem is, towards the end, before the video game crash, Atari started churning out real rubbish like Pac-Man. Pac-Man's a great game, but not on the Atari 2600 oh. it is, and it's awful. Uh, and the guys at um, Vintage Gamer were telling me about... Was it Donkey Kong? Which one did they say? It was absolutely sure. dreadful. Oh, Super Mario! Super Mario, Mario apparently is dreadful as well on, on the, the Atari, Atari 2600. Mm. And it, or it, I think it destroyed consumer confidence. They just thought, why are they churning out this rubbish? And yeah. people just stopped buying, to be honest with you. And uh, to be honest with you, I think yeah. the same thing. could we, we could be going down that same route today, actually, the way things are going with the gaming industry. But it's involving Electro- money now. It's involving money now, I'm not going to mention Electronic Arts. No, I'll bash I'll them in the Okay, who I'll else going to bash? Off. Yeah, Ubisoft, right? Ubisoft. Ubisoft, Ubisoft, Ubisoft have created some of my favourite franchises of all time. Tomb Raider? Uh, not Tomb Raider, no. That was Core and EDOS. Let's not start that again. No, let's not start that one again. Um... Ubisoft have created stuff like Ghost Recon. I loved the oh, original yeah. you Ghost, like Ghost Recon. Recon don't you? Rainbow Six. Siege. They used to come up with some great stuff, but recently I think they've absolutely destroyed those franchises. Mm. The new Rainbow Six, I think, is dreadful. Yeah, it takes like thirty shots to kill you one can't, person. You can't even you can't even select what type of terrorist hunt mission you want. It like kind of like pre-selects it or something. I bought what was that game I bought and I took back within three weeks. It was Ooh, dreadful. Um... The Division. By That's Ubisoft. It. So I bought that. I'm really looking forward to that. I pre-ordered it, actually. Yeah, that, incidentally, that will be the yeah. last game I ever pre-ordered. That he never pre-orders No, things. not anymore. We don't, buy I pre-order. Will. we don't pre-order anything because the hype doesn't... The hype doesn't meet the the actual release. I'm, what am I trying to say? They hype a game up so much. When it's actually released, it bears no resemblance to... You know, I'm pre-ordering Star Wars Battlefront 2. You! I know that. Rebel Scott... You fool! I'm not a fool. I'm not buying that. Yeah, I am. Are you going to buy it? I am, yeah. Well, I hope for your sake it's worth it. I'm saving up for it. Okay. But the division I took back after two or three weeks because it was just plain awful. But Mm -hmm. back to E.T. What did you think? I like the design on the cartridge. Do you know what? The best thing I like about it is the artwork. So Mm -hmm. what did you think of the game? And be objective. What's that mean? Was there any part of it you liked? Absolutely nothing at all. Nothing at all. No. Well, there you have it. That was a really, really good experiment. So the conclusion mm. to our experiment is E.T. really is the that bad. The worst game ever. Yeah, the worst game ever. And it was made again before you I was, was born. born. Anyway, next episode. Bush, mine, mine, bush. Bush, mine, mine craft, craft. craft. Mine, mine, bush. Mine, bush. Bush, craft, mine. Bush, mine. Bush, Minecraft. We'll see you again. Thanks for joining us. Like as well. We do appreciate your um, company. Uh, give us a like. Subscribe. Subscribe. If you're new. Send us messages. You can find us on Facebook. Facetube. No, Facebook. Facebook. Facebook slash. You, you never get that right, do you? You, know, <laughs> you always forget Facebook's name. Come on, let's get out of here. Like Thanks so much. <laughs> last, yesterday, you said you said page face or something like that, or face face face, face page or something know. like that. I get my words mixed up, don't I? Really? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care now. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hello? Somebody out there? Hello? 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 Hello?